we're going to do a video here today on uh, how to set up your uh, your CMAC. And uh, so Daryl's going to give us some instruction here. So, all right. And hey there. Um, so we're going to talk about kind of setting up the CMAC, which is a storage device. This is our CMAC screen here. And the way you're going to turn this on is simply just that button there is going to turn it on. Whether or not the actual device is connected, the scope is connected, it will still turn on and you'll see this green light. If that green light is on, then that means the screen is trying to feed whatever information it's getting, whether or not there is actually a scope connected. Um, this is kind of the general screen that usually comes with all these different stores devices and they have kind of these universal connectors in the back, which you can see here have a black black arrow there and it kind of squeezes out like that and it lines up with the little white arrow that's there too. Okay. One of them is for the power, that's going to be this one, the other one is going to be here for the scope actually. Okay. Now, um, this is battery operated, so you can turn it on without it being plugged in as long as it's uh, well charged, but just leave it plugged in if you can. Um, and then we get around to the scope, so this again is going to be connected with the black end here. Okay, is there any any, any unique tricks? Of, the of, same uh, as the power cord. Um, the arrows line up pretty simply there. Okay. And we'll bring this over here and we'll show you. With this, this adapter here is one of the first generations of the stores devices. The newer ones are going to end up with a kind of coaxial um, cable look plug-in that plugs into the top. But okay. In this generation of CMAC devices, what ends up happening is this slides right into... So, so it doesn't go in, in extremely easy, though. It, uh, it, yeah, as it, these start to age, this slot gets squeezed together a little bit, and so then you end okay. up having to slide it in. Okay. Now you'll see down here, that little uh, silver portion is the connector for the camera. Okay. So as this slides in, then all of a sudden it'll this, get power, and you'll get good video there, and we'll take video, let's see, as we got the cameras going. Okay. And good. that gives us the connection there. Okay. Now, to... Now, you can actually do video with this thing too, right? How do you do a video of an intubation? Yeah. Um, there's a record button right here. Okay. Uh, of course, you have to have a card in place, and there's a picture button right here, and you see a camera. And okay, so we don't, we don't have a card in yeah. place, and that's why that is grayed out. So this actual, this same screen will help with any of the video bronchoscopes or MP scopes that Stores does. It's a nice kind of all-in-one system that they've used for connectors. Okay, all right. All right, and then as far as the actual handle, there's some knobology on that, on the back of it. Actually, you can leave it hooked up if you want. But yeah, there's also the record and the picture button on the back of the handle here if you'd okay. like to record those. Okay, good. All right. Thanks, Daryl. This is uh, helpful.